That's two cars right there. We could probably pull it out. Yeah, it's been down there a minute. Did y'all happen to pull up the vehicles or just? No, we dove on them. Yeah, we just dove on them. I got you, awesome. Today we're back in Alabama searching for missing person Christopher St. Joseph. This is part two of our search. Last video we were in Huntsville where he went missing. We found like six vehicles underwater, dove on all of them. None of them were him. They were just empty vehicles. You can watch that video in the link in the description. But today we are a little farther east in Scottsboro, Alabama, because we got a tip from an investigator to come search this way. Now he was last seen driving a 2005 Toyota Camry and that's a pretty common vehicle but it hasn't been sighted it's been you know two years we have talked to the family and they're desperate for answers but we're out here searching guntersville lake here in the surrounding waters there's a bunch of boat ramps that we're going to check and uh, i'm out here exploring with nug Hi. so we got some information to search here right yes uh i i talked to the cold case investigator who's running uh this case and she mentioned Coming up to Scottsboro, search the water here. I think he had family here. Maybe the theory goes for some reason he may have wanted to come up here to see them. Yeah. They confirmed he never showed up, but who's to say he didn't? Right. You know, and like decide not to go and he just came out here to the water. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of possibilities, but we're gonna check all the boat ramps. There's, there's probably like 10 boat ramps that he could easily be at, whether it's an accident or foul play. We don't know all those details. We're just trying to help out the family give them some answers, some closure, and uh, see if we can help in any way possible. So we're gonna be doing lots of sonar out here. If we find any vehicles, we will scuba dive on those and clear them. There's a lot of water out here to check, so let's get started. Alrighty. Yeah, I mean the boat ramp, right there, four feet, I mean, I guess if there's a car, it's going to be right up here. We'll see it pretty quick. But this, this whole park goes, there's a lot of access, you know? Yeah. Oh, it's windy, wakey out here. I feel good. You cold? Uh, just my hands. All right, it's actually deep enough right here. Should be at the boat ramp. Five, six feet. I mean, it's... Uh, Look at seven feet. Very vegetative. Yeah. I don't know if you want to make another pass at that or not, but I'm maybe, gonna, I'll, maybe I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll swing go swing that way. Yeah, I'll go straight out. i go into it. Well, you can see the boat ramp. We just went straight into it. It doesn't look like there's anything here. All this is not very clear because it's a lot of vegetation. I mean, you'd be able to see a ramp, car right? if it was initially. That was a boat ramp, okay. yeah. Holy I mean, it looks like there might be something right here, but something small. I don't know. It's all this vegetation. Woo! Yeah. It uh, might be a little difficult, but it's like five, six feet here. But the road goes all the way around. But there's uh, there's like 20 boat ramps in the area. We're just going to keep jumping around, checking them all until we find a car or... I bet we'll find a hopefully car. Hopefully his car. But I mean, last time we were in Huntsville, we found six cars. Yeah. All dumped. So they're out here. We just got to find. Just gotta find them. Keep on looking. All right, let's keep looking around. If we uh, see anything on the sonar, I'll pop that up for you guys, as always. All right, so like I said, that spot is clear. Can't really feel my hands, but should be pretty quick checking these spots. All right, we're gonna have the next boat ramp right down the road. This is a city park. I mean, there's grass everywhere. These boat ramps look. It's very grassy right here. I bet you this is probably three feet deep. <laughs> but it's very accessible if people were gonna dump a car. Yeah. I did notice the gate. Yeah. But. What time did he go missing? I think I think it was late. It was late. I mean, he had no sign. There was no, he like, his but computer said, was still on. It said 4 a.m. too. So I'm leaving there. Well, you know what? I have no idea. But we can check really we'll quick. We'll just check it and go around this little thing. It looks really shallow though. Yeah. Probably gonna be too shallow. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, it's deep enough. You're deep enough. 
seven feet. Let's check around this park area and hopefully something will pop off. Yeah, right off the bat, I mean, it's like eight and a half, nine feet deep. So, uh, it's definitely deep enough. Lots of vegetation. That really doesn't mean much. Well, the good news is it is deep enough, eight feet. The bad news is it's so much vegetation. We'll just scan around here and then go cut back around to the other side. I think a car could go off anywhere around here. We do need to get a few passes. Like, I mean, we'll go this way and then come back. Them cars will float out a ways. Yeah. All right, we were going around that island, but it got down to like a foot and a half. So we had to get out here a little ways. I don't think there's going to be any cars right here. You never know. It's 10 feet out here. I mean, gosh, if, it, if one drifted this far, it would have had to clear be impressive. all that distance with two feet. Yeah, I, I well, there can be no cars out here. But. I'm trying to go around because you can drive right there close to the, maybe it's, maybe it's just like a point right there. Maybe, maybe. We gotta slowly get closer because it just dropped off. Now it's nine, 10 feet. All right, so we were trying to cut across to a bow ramp on the other side of the, the river there, but. That didn't work. It didn't work, yeah. They, uh, there was like a, a, a shallow reed bed area. So we started heading back, then we noticed this other boat ramp right here. So we're fixing to come up on it. Eight, nine feet. We'll see if it gets a little deeper. This one does look kind of sketchy though. Yeah. I mean, it's, it'd be a good place to well, now it's getting shallow. Any. There might be a camera right there. I don't really. I think that is a camera. I mean, let's think, think about this. If, if there's no reason to check, who cares if there's a camera? Because always looking at the footage. All right. And you, yeah, what's the time even with cameras? Yeah, they're not being checked. Oh, it's getting shallow, man. That's my philosophy. It's getting very shallow here. Now you're good. Yeah, three and a half feet, you're great. Look, there's there's signs that people have been here. Boat motor drag marks. That's not a good, that's not a good sign. That's because they boat was big and ours is teeny. Teeny Terry boat. Putting along. There's the boat ramp. It's a little tiny little thing. I'm gonna go with way too shallow. <laughs> yeah. It's dropping off. I don't even see the boat. Oh. I mean, you never know though until you check a place, but. Hey, it's in the ground. You yeah. cool. can see it? a lot of growth but no car all right well I think we should go go back and then keep going down yeah we'll go down to the next boat ramp there's three of them close to each other we can knock all those out confidently <coughs> I believe yeah. this river has some weird conditions though it gets so shallow and hasn't I guess it gets like 30 feet out in the channel which is kind of normal but yeah that makes sense the sun's coming out look at that oh my gosh you know what that means? Um, I'm not going to freeze to death. <laughs> Alright, that spot looks pretty clear. We're going to keep on heading down. The boat's working pretty well now. We had to replace the axle on this one and the tires, but she's good to go. Alright, we are heading to the next boat ramp. This one does look kind of sketchy. And it like ends at a just a wall, and there's spray paint and graffiti. It looked like so. I don't know. There could very well be a car here. It also looks kind of shallow. All these parts of the rivers look very strange. But let's get out here and uh, check this one out. Third. Boat ramp. North Saudi Waterfowl Refuge Boat Ramp. All right. This one looks uh. It's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, and they're like dead ends, and there's graffiti. Does it? <laughs> it looks shallow though. Oh yeah, it looks really shallow. Especially the pictures. Worries me, dude. But that road we took to get here. Eh? I want to check down that road over there because like. Oh yeah. Two, you know, he's been missing what two years. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, there's no telling if a car went off. I think people bring like their 
It said no mud motors or airboats here, <laughs> but it seems like a place you would need those things. Exactly. Which is kind of weird. But we just hit a rock. I don't know if you guys could tell. And the motor shut off. It's like two, no. two feet here. We didn't hit a rock. I was a turtle. Not anymore. He's minding his own business. Yeah, wake him up. What's that over there? Over there? Yeah. The like old bridge. It used to be a bridge. I'm sure it's gonna get a little oh, deep. Oh, this road deeper. that we're on looks. I guess it used to go there. Yeah, way. it used to go. And I guess they like built that. Yeah. Because it made more sense. And they turned this old one into a uh, boat ramp in graffiti spot. Indeed. All right. Well, we're gonna go down here, cut around, and then I think zip down, go to the marina, and maybe that other boat ramp. All right. So we just got down here to this road that we took. I mean, it's all the way there's no guardrails along the whole thing and it gets down to that deepest it looks like 10 feet down here so we're going to take this all the way down we're heading to the marina and that other sketchy boat ramp that we couldn't put in or we, well there's two boat ramps there's one that's way farther that's there's, being redone which he could be at that one maybe we can go it's like two miles yeah there's something wrong with that duck but uh we're gonna go <laughs> We're gonna go all the way down here, the length of this, and see if there's anything popping off on screen. Right now it's three feet, so it's pretty shallow, but anything, I think it'll open up and get a little deeper. I think he's tangled in something. That duck over there? Yeah, he can't fly. He might have a hurt wing. That's the bridge, right? Yeah, we're gonna go down to the bridge, and then there's a marina and few things down there and then uh, we'll keep going. But it gets super shallow over there, all those birds flying. We found another ramp we weren't really aware of. Right over there. I don't know if it's public or what the story is. Seven oh, right. feet right like here. Beat up dirt road that wasn't blocked off, so it looks like it's public. There's a sign at it, so I would think it says something about something something fishing boating i don't know it's hard to say it's hard to read a sign that's turned the other way around but of um crap up there yeah i think people garden. come here to fish i just i just love how there's pretty places around and humans come and destroy it with their old mattresses and the trash. picture is, is pretty interesting here <laughs> yeah six feet i mean it's still deep enough I think they hawked it up. I think so. I think this one has, has a good view. Snails. Go with that. I think there's a good chance a car could be here, but we're about to find Maybe. out. Maybe. Five six, feet. Six I feet's mean, like pretty darn shallow for a car. something casting a tiny shadow. All right. There. What did that look like to you? Too, way, way too small. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's still it's a boat ramp. It is. There's a car looks, here. We bounced the boat right it, up. It looks like uh, it might be a closed boat ramp at this point. Maybe. I see nothing. It got pretty shallow, too. Yeah. I guess this one's clear as well. Yeah, there's the boat ramp right there on the side. Nothing there but vegetation. Another valiant effort. Three feet too. I mean, yeah. yeah right well, on the other I mean, side of the river, though. I mean, that's another boat ramp. So yeah. Check that real quick. Yeah, we'll go over there. Well, we're clearing them, checking them off the list, so that's good too. I know. I know. And as always, if you guys are watching have boats and sonars, you know, wherever you live, check the boat ramps. It is, you don't even have to have a super nice sonar to see something that looks weird. <sighs> and if it's kind of big and the right size, casting a shadow off the boat ramp, it's a good chance it's a car. And uh, send us an email, you know, we, we're happy to go search and check when we can or if we're in the area. All right, we just came out of this bridge and we're coming up. There's like a, I guess it's supposed to be a boat ramp. It's not actually concrete, but the other boat ramp that we were trying to get to is around the corner. The marina's over there, right? Oh, there's the, okay, there's yeah, a marina there's a boat ramp. Giant boat ramp. But there's like a sketchy one over here that you can oh, yeah, easily can, drive into. Check that one and then head down to that other one. Yeah. It's a, it's it's a, just to look at it. It's a drive. Be all right. It's a couple miles. Deep enough, 17. Do you see anything? There's something. I see that. I just don't know. 
thought that might have been a, a, a tire. Something over there. I go. There's something there. It's a tank. <laughs> oh gosh. There's a bumper up there. There is a oh, there's a bumper up there. Probably came off the uh so you had plenty of room here to park. Well now. Kinda smells like gas, dude. I don't think that's from our boat. It might be. <laughs> Yeah, don't get don't, don't get too crazy. I'm pretty sure we're there's something out here. Yeah. That thing. I don't know what that is. It's round. Look at mine, my down image. That my, might mine looks like a giant stump. But it's hard to say. Plane. It might maybe we could hit be a car going, going the, you know that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think way. I'm gonna have to. If it is a car, yeah, we're hitting the long way or the wrong way. And we're about to find out what this mystery object is. To me, it looks like a giant stump. But there's no, there's no other stumps around it. That's why, because it dominated the field. I don't know what that is. That doesn't, doesn't scream car. That screams giant stump. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. Let's back up. It might be a stump. Kind of looks more like a stump now. I mean, it looks like a car now, but you were going really slow. To me, it looks more like a stump. But I guess it depends on what the stretch is. That, that looks like a stump. You see the, the that ball? Looks, like yeah, a root ball? It looks like a root ball. Yeah. Definitely don't think that's a car. And after looking at yours, it does look like, it a, looks like a big stump. <laughs> Yours kind of looks like a car. Well, that's all stretched out because we're going really yeah, slow. Yeah, the stretching does a little weird things, but See, I don't know. I'm new pretty, Sonar guys pretty, really sensitive. Pretty, you're going to pretty, two, two and a half miles an hour. It's got a slight like angle right here. Okay. All right, coming down to the marina over here. It's a pretty big boat ramp. But I think there's cameras, I'm sure, and you have to pay to get here. I mean, you could have just drove. You could drive here. There's a spot over there you could park at. I mean, there's spots to park. The question is, how easy would it be to car for a car, a car to go in without being noticed? You know? True. Well, it's worth checking, and then after we check this one, we'll go down to that other one right around the bend. I mean, I wonder if this place is gated off at night. I we can still get here in the middle of the night. Uh, I don't know. It's a good question. Yeah, we'll scan it and find out. Yeah. I kind of want to look right there first. All right, so right there you can see there's another person parked in their truck. I mean, you can park right here, but it's too, way too shallow, four feet. Definitely goes up. But we're going to go down this road, but it's it's got guardrails. Oh, it's yeah, getting you shallow. Can, you can jump them guardrails. Definitely could have went down that boat ramp. Yeah, we'll check the boat ramp. Yeah, our... look at all this crud. It's a lot of crap in the water. We haven't found oh, anything God. yet. <laughs> what? Uh, <A> dragon? <laughs> Man. It goes 14 feet. I mean, it's definitely deep enough. I don't see any cars. This is a big old boat ramp. Surprised that we're not seeing any cars here. <laughs> so they have cameras and so a lot of boaters with sonars. They would spot a car if there was one. True. Yeah. I don't even know if it's worth the second pass. I don't know. Can... I didn't see anything. We're shooting. I'm shooting 90. I don't see nothing. Yeah, I didn't see a thing. So we just got. So All we right. came farther down because there was. This, I saw this huge parking lot. There's like an amphitheater over there, thinking there'd be something, but. It was Ew, here. it's shallow. Two feet now. There's nothing out here but trash. So I guess we'll zip across. I think straight that way, right? Oh. Uh, that other boat ramp? Yeah, we'll go with that. I think it's right over here. Okay. We gotta find this other boat ramp. But I guess they're redoing it, so. Some of the lines on yours. Doesn't like the uh, the wake. Uh. All right, we're at one of the last boat ramps. We were trying to get to this one earlier, but it's under construction. But I don't I don't know if it was the old boat ramp before this, and they're just redoing it or what. But it is uh, three feet here. Sweet. 
two feet. Well, That's exactly what I expected. You know, we had to shoot down river to get to this spot. You Hopefully never know all of that you. was up river and against the current, so maybe the trip back. I, oh yeah, smooth. I think it'll be. Well, I don't know about smooth, but it should be a little faster going back. Yeah, now that we fixed that trim that you mess up. <laughs> so we'll scan this area. It's not looking great so far. This video has just been a lot of searching and, and not much else. So yeah, clear, clear, you know, clear sometimes all. that's the reality of it. But I, I don't know. I think tomorrow we're going to head back to Huntsville. Probably find more cars tomorrow. I don't tomorrow. know if that'll be another video or on this video or not. But what about Scottsboro, man? I think Scottsboro is pretty darn clear. I bet there's a car maybe somewhere out here, but... We checked a lot. We checked a lot of boat ramps today, and I'm very, very depressed to say we didn't even find a boat. We didn't find nothing. This place yeah. clean. It's a lot of just overgrowth, and I'm kind of not surprised because, like, I don't know. My vast experience in this, I don't really find cars in these sections. Of the, usually, it's out the river, you know. But there ain't any boat ramps out the river here. This has more lake vibes. Yeah, which, but I don't just know. don't find cars as much in the lakes. You would think. Lakes. Uh, I have a couple of them. Usually they don't down here because they drain it. I don't think they drain. They don't lower this one. But I don't know. I don't know. This has been a, a wonderfully fun-filled day of freezing my feet off. Let's zip back to that. I guess zip back to where we're parked. Well, make sure there's nothing there. Go from there, I guess. That area is clear. We're gonna go maybe drive down and check out some more boat ramps. But the day's coming to an end. Slowly we're losing light and it's gonna get really really cold and miserable. Oh uh, we we already lost the sun because of the cloud, so gone but uh like instantly feels horrible. Let's get back and just drive to another spot and just look or let's get back and get to the ramp and get a game plan because I don't know where else there's more boat ramps farther down, but it's really like where did it go? We'd be checking ramps all day. We checked all the obvious ones at this point. Yeah. I mean there's a there's a lot of them in the Guntersville south area. Oh my gosh, dude, we actually went pretty far. Huh? We're way up here. That's where we... Yeah, that's where it started. Yeah, we're, we're a little ways. Yeah, we're, we're, we're. All right, I think that is going to wrap up our day today. We're losing light quick. I mean, the sun is setting. We covered most of Scottsboro. There's still a lot more boat ramps, like farther down to, to Guntersville area. There's a lot of boat ramps there, but this, I mean, our goal was to cover Scottsboro like we covered everything that we suspected uh, is a route that he could have taken you know i, I mean, mean who's I, to say he could have driven farther down we don't we don't know though i'm pretty sure we covered all the boat ramps i mean the the, the obvious ones in, in scottsboro so yeah you know i mean we could spend we could spend weeks on this river it's huge yeah but you know we're knocking off a city at the time so we go back to huntsville we'll knock all that area out tomorrow and that might be the day you never know unfortunately we were not able to find christopher today but we covered a lot of ground part three we're going to be going to huntsville back to huntsville and searching the rest of those boat ramps that we couldn't get to the first time but i feel confident we're going to find more cars stick around with us and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching we'll see you on the next one